Hello YouTube, this is Anna Cat Candy, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a Japanese house. A small Japanese house. It is 10 by 17. First I'm going to show you the layout of the original. Small entrance. And a kitchen storage area here. Leads out to the garden. Also have your tatami rooms. It's a very basic house. Nice for a starter build. So let's get started. What you're going to need, some spruce logs, spruce planks, spruce slab, black wool, strip birch log, cobblestone, birch door, white concrete, stone bricks for the, and stone brick slab for the roof, glowstone, and spruce fence and start at the corner four blocks high spruce log four blocks high skip two and another pillar four blocks high skip five and another pillar four blocks high Now we're going to turn, go three blocks, put another pillar four blocks high. Skip five, another pillar. Skip another five. And we'll add another pillar. Let's go to the other side. Repeat. Three blocks. Five blocks and five blocks. Going from this middle pillar here, we're going to go back three blocks and then five blocks. Switch over to your spruce planks. About that, add one right here. Then line across the front. Then all down the sides. Connect the back. And connect the sides again. Go inside, skip these three in the middle, add five logs here, five planks I mean, and match this one up with the front door. Actually this one we can do, go ahead and put two, then go across here. Now you're going to take your slabs, put them across the back here. Take your white concrete. Let's go ahead and put a row on top of our spruce planks, ignoring this one here. and ignoring these five. Now 
now you can fill in right here with spruce planks to the to the post. Take your slabs again, put three across, and then three between these posts. And dig out right here and place our cobblestone. Now for the tricky part. Take your black wool, place it between these two posts. Skip one, and add two there. Go into the middle, add another line. Using your strip birch, be sure to place them in the correct font, in the correct directions. I think the strip birch looks more like tatami than anything else. It has more of the woven look to it. Again with the black wool. I'm gonna skip one. And then make another line across. And from this side, skip one, make a line going this way. Again from the middle, a line going this way. And fill it in with the strip birch. This piece here can go in any direction you want. I prefer to put it going this way. Now let's go back to our white concrete on the front wall here. I'm just going to put two pieces on either side. One piece on either side, I should say. Then fill in the rest. As long as bats don't get in the way. This piece comes across to go over the door. And I made these too tall. We're only going to keep the corners. Use your spruce fence for a window. Go back to the spruce log and join up the posts. Before we get much further, let's go ahead and throw in the doors. One here, one here, one over here, and here, and by this post, and by this post. Let's go back to the spruce logs and continue. Now you're going to want your glowstone. And you can really place it wherever you like. I just like to put a lot of glowstone in my houses to make them nice and bright. New spruce slab at the top edge for the ceiling. Now 
And we're going to get out our stone bricks and stone brick slabs. Run a line of stone brick slabs across the top of here. Then along the top edge of the entire outside of the building. pick either side to start from. Let's go ahead and put some more slabs across the top edge. Ignoring the front. Back to stone bricks. Go down the sides, leaving the edge hanging out. And we need our white concrete again. Go across the front and skip two and put two blocks in the center. Repeat on the back. stone slabs. Stone bricks. Slabs. Bricks. slabs. Now put the slabs across the top edges for a bit of an overhang. And your house is complete. Hope you all enjoyed and I have several other houses to show you if you're interested. Please give this video a like, subscribe if you like, and I will see y'all next time.